Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We'll talk today about um, this foe. Um, she is a two year old um, draft cross um, quarter horse. Um, she was bred for meat in France. So this was her last summer. Um, she's been through a lot of problems since then and that was her uh, in the winter. Uh, so she, I mean, she, she just had tons and tons of health issues. Um, the main one was that she developed a sort of um, Crohn disease for horses, uh, similar to leaky gut and inflammatory um uh disease in the intestines um she of course had all of the uh tick diseases uh i mean she 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 practically lived in the clinic in the vet clinic uh for a while i i'm joking but that's not funny i'm just trying to make light of the situation uh but she literally went through hell, uh, so did the owner. Uh, so yeah, she, she went through a considerable uh, weight loss. And here you can see at the last trim um, appeared a very specific problem. And you can see it's particularly in the uh, left hind um, pastern. She's clonking and it's um it's like it's the, the joint is not moving properly here you can see it clong so what happened is that um her feet in shape also completely changed um she used to have almost um not boxy feet, but really, yeah, I had to take a lot of heels down. I never had to touch the toe. And here you can see how it changed. Um, the toe really went away, like, I don't know, somewhere on a holiday far, far away uh, because she never had this before. Our... Um, um, our theory is that due to her, uh, the, the pain she had in her belly, all the troubles she had, her stance modified, like her feet really went under her. She was probably tensed um, and uh, yeah, trying to alleviate the pain, but, you know, tensing through the pain. Uh, which probably pulled a lot on her hind legs. Um, and that's why, I mean, that's my theory, why the feet run forward so much at the back. Um, she's due to go to the, to the clinic soon for other health issues, of course. Um, yeah, since, since then she has had lice, um, she had, um, I don't know the term in English, I forgot to look it up, but it's, it's something in the eye, in French it's called uvet. Um, it's, um, I need to, I, I look it up and add something in the description, um, about this. Um, so it's something that she shouldn't get, um, because she's under corticoids, um, drugs, but she has it nonetheless so yeah the owner is exploring uh, what could be the the reason so yeah i only um wanted to speak about the hind trim today because that was the most interesting her front legs are quite okay here i've slowed down a specific um a moment and i want you to see the white line i mean i know it's very very bright so it's hard for you to see but it's 
it's not yellow, it's pinkish, but only at the toe. It doesn't get pinkish anywhere else. Um, so that could be sign of laminitis, um, which I don't believe is the case for her. Um, what, yeah, you could see it well here. What I believe is, um, it is um, um, from the pressure of the long toe, uh, really pulling the lamina um, between the wall and the, the coffin bone. Um, hence this bruise-like aspect. So that was interesting uh, to find this on, on the foot. I mean, both feet have the same problem. Um, and I've trimmed both feet um, in a similar fashion, but I've showed you this trim because that's the most problematic foot, the one that's clonking. Um, so yeah, I apply a sharper bevel on the outside because she's flaring on the outside. And here, notice she has um, a mud fever, which is surprising because mud was gone for a few weeks now. The owner is treating a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and she, she, she had, uh, ah, that's another term I need to look up that I will detail in the description below. She had a really big leg. Uh, it's, um, it was an infection from the mud fever. Um, so she ended up with a huge leg, huge leg. I didn't trim her while she was, um, with this big leg, but all the problems are focused on this foot specifically for some reason so yeah i never had to trim her toe yeah nice view of the mud fever i never had to trim the toe on her um because she would always keep it at a nice um, at a nice spot and you see i don't know if you can see it very well but the the dorsal wall are slightly um, bullnosed which she never had before i mean in just a couple of months um uh, yeah because we we missed one trimming appointment because of the lockdown so she went extra long but even so she she could spend like several weeks without a trim and not having any problems but now she's almost bullnosed, um, which really wasn't the case before. Yeah, here. <laughs> but she's such a awesome um, foe because she was wild when the owner got her. Um, so that was the first challenge. And when I first um, saw her, uh, she was the loveliest uh, foal I've, I've I've ever trimmed and uh, since then she went um, like a dozen times to to the vet clinic um, and still behaves like a, like a pro she's she's really patient she's a lovely little girl so the the footage got cut short uh, because of a problem I had with the GoPro so I don't have the bar stream but mainly wanted to tell you about the toe um, how to back up the toe um, and speak about the specific problem on this horse thank you mm -hmm.